Hello, I'm Victor Jernigan, and this is Serious Information About Real Estate. Today, I'm going to be talking about the COVID-19 impact on small town commercial property, specifically, what will downtown rural America look like in the future? The aftermath of COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic that we're all going through now, is going to change the landscape. Sprawl is going to be coming back. It's an absolute certainty that there will be less desire to live in urban cores than there has been in the past. And the direct beneficiary of this new sprawl will be the small rural communities. Technology allows, and we have seen how technology allows us all to be somewhere else and work from somewhere else. And as automated cars really do come on in the next few years, travel no longer has a negative impact. There is no cost to travel because you can do other things while you're in the car that's moving from place to place. The growth of rural communities is going to be really solid. But what happens to the downtown core? What happens to the the, those areas that have been revitalized in the last few years by all these city governments all across America. And it doesn't make any difference where I've traveled in the country in the last 24 months. Every town is looking to revitalize its downtown core. And it doesn't make any difference whether it's Salina, Kansas, or uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, or Knoxville, Tennessee. Every town is wanting to have a stronger core. And what's going to happen now is that people are going to be moving out of the big urban cores. And the question is just going to be how far will they move away from where their jobs were 90 days ago. Now, the problem with that for us as real estate investors is where do we invest in the small town? When do we begin to invest? And right now, what I am absolutely positive of is that small towns have thrived over the years because there's some basic service that's still there for the people who don't want to leave the that town. The grocery store, the general store, the uh, farm supply store, and other businesses would locate near those businesses because there was walking traffic. But now there's going to be more people wanting to move into the general area. There'll be more construction going on in these rural towns everywhere in America. It won't make any difference. Every rural town in America will see growth, while every urban center will see a decline in population. It may not be a net decline because there'll still be births but there's going to be lots of people moving out of these cities. And so if we're going to invest in the small towns, what I'm looking at are the businesses which provide a unique service and or product. Because those are people that, that in that niche, they've got a premium that they're charging. And there has to be enough money in that small town for people to want to pay that premium. Now, I don't know that I specifically want to invest in that business. We've got an olive oil store here in Knoxville. It's got hundreds of different kinds of olive oils. It's 12 feet wide and 60 feet deep. And it's always full of people. But going forward, how many people are going to be going into that store at a time? So that store has got trouble dealing with social distancing and who can be in the store and what's go how it's going to be, materials are going to be sold. But there's some business really close to that one that's well located because that business has survived and is moving forward. There's another space, there's another opportunity in that same general area. And so what I look for is that opportunity which creates value in the future. And if that unique business has survived in the past, eventually it will come back. But over the next period of time, I'm wanting to own a space that's large enough and has a tenant in it that provides general services so that people will be able to be social distanced, that they will be able to spread themselves apart and shop and buy the things which are in that store. And because that will happen, that tenant will be able to pay the investor that owns that building a return on their money. 
So small town America has a very bright future. It has a strong future. It's going to be problematic about the retail that's going on in these small towns because the small spaces are going to go out. But there is great opportunity in the future for real estate investors in small town America. Thank you for watching.